Welcome back zebras and welcome to fun Friday. Are you guys ready for another circle time? Let's get ready with our snap crackle pop cheer. Do you guys remember how to do that one? Here we go snap crackle pop. All right, ready? Let's do it. Snap crackle pop. Let's start. All right, let's get ready to sing our days of the week song. All right, here we go. Days of the week song. Days of the week. 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 Sunday and a Monday. A Tuesday and a Wednesday. A Thursday and a Friday. A Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Days of the week loud voices Sunday and a Monday a Tuesday and a Wednesday a Thursday and a Friday a Saturday days of the week awesome job on your song guys now let's talk about the days are you guys ready yesterday was Thursday which means that today is fun Friday and tomorrow will be Saturday. That's right. So to, yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday and tomorrow will be Saturday. Excellent job, guys. All right, let's get ready to talk about our calendar. All right, zebras, who is ready for calendar time? All right, let's start with what month we are in. It comes after the month of April. That's right, it's the month of May. And what letter does May start with? That's right, it starts with the letter M. Can you guys tell me some other words that start with the letter M? That's right. Can anyone tell me other words that start with the letter M? Very good. Magnet. I hadn't heard that one. Very good. Okay. Good job, guys. Great examples of words. Now, let's talk about what number we're on. Does anybody know what number that is? It comes after the number seven. That's right. It's the number eight. Good job. And what number do we start counting with to get to the number eight? Very good. All right. You guys ready? Let's start. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight. Very good. So today is Friday, May 8th. What year? 2020. Excellent job, guys. All right, let's go find a window so we can talk about our weather. All right, you guys, are you ready to look out the window and, look, and talk about the weather? Hey, let's look out the window and see what the weather's like today. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together, all together. What's the weather like today? What do you see? Ooh, what's that sound? All right, friends, welcome back to story time. I am going to read a book today that has to do with something I talked about earlier. Our school year is getting close to being at the end. And that means that your time as zebras is slowly ending. And next year you will be in a different class. So I found this book, it's called I'm Not Ready by Jonathan Allen. And it talks about a little friend that's not quite ready to go to school. All right, are you guys ready to start the adventure? Baby Owl was getting ready to go to preschool for the very first time. He and his mom were going to walk there with Small Squirrel and Miss Squirrel. Hurry up, Baby Owl called Mom. Small Squirrel will be here soon. Do you see Baby Owl peeking out of the tree? I'm not ready, Baby Owl said. I'm putting my toys away. Putting your toys away, said mom, but you never 
ever put your toys away. Small Squirrel and his mom arrived. Come on, baby owl, called mom. Small Squirrel is here. I'm not ready, said baby owl. I'm brushing my feathers. Brushing your feathers, said mom. But you never brush your feathers. Please, baby owl, we have to go. But I'm not ready, said baby owl. I can't find my backpack. Can you guys find the backpack? <laughs> yep, that's right, it's hanging right there. And what color is that backpack? <gasps> that's right, it's a blue backpack. It's hanging by the door, said mom. I can see it from here. Now hurry up. Baby Owl's not ready, said Baby Owl. His feathers need brushing too. You see Baby Owl's Baby Owl? <laughs> baby Owl, said Mom. You know Owie doesn't have any feathers. Now come down, we really have to go. I am not ready, cried Baby Owl. It's not fair. You're making me go to preschool when I am not ready. Don't you want to go to preschool? Asked mom, giving him a hug. Come on, baby owl. It will be fun. All right, mom, said baby owl. When they got to preschool, Baby Owl cheered up. Little Rabbit, Baby Badger, and all of his other friends were there. Put me down, Mom, said Baby Owl. I want to play with my friends. All right, said Mom, if you're sure that you're ready. Does that look like the zebra classroom with all of our friends building blocks and reading and tossing the ball to each other, having so much fun? Baby Owl played happily all day. He was still playing when Dad came to pick him up. Come on, Baby Owl, said Dad. It's time to go home. But I'm not ready, said Baby Owl. I'm playing with Small Squirrel. Small Squirrel's dad is here too, said Dad. We can walk home together. That night, Mom asked, are you and Owly ready for a good night's sleep? We are, said Baby Owl. I don't want to be late for preschool tomorrow. Good night, Baby Owl, said Mom. Good night, Mom, said Baby Owl. The end. <laughs> now, it's very normal time for someone to feel nervous about the first day, isn't it? Did any of my zebras feel nervous when you were coming into the classroom to meet Miss Gracia and Miss Yvonne? But I hope that after that, you weren't nervous anymore because we used to have so much fun in our classroom and play together and make really good friends and have lots of fun doing all the fun stuff and doing science and fine motor and circle time and art. And then we also did yoga and all those fun things, brain and body. So it's very important to give things a try because although they might make us nervous in the beginning, we usually end up having lots of fun. All right, friends. Well, I miss you so much. And here's my hook from me to you. And I will see you on Monday. So have a great weekend. Until then, stay safe. Bye.